Swampscott, Massachusetts is a town of about 15,000 people located just north of Boston. In a lot of ways, like any American community, in some ways unique. Everyone has senior citizens. What's different about Swampscott is that the population of seniors is the same as the population of households with kids. It's the demographics of the future. And it means meeting both needs are more challenging. But they found a way to do it by building both together in the same place. When you make the drive up our driveway, you'll see a beautiful high school in the front with a door that's welcoming and warm. When you drive around the back, you will find the senior center with their own entrance. They have an entrance that is just there so that they can have some privacy. But we're located, we have a door in the back, so we're located right next to the senior center, where if they need to get in and they need to work with us on some project or something, it's easy access. We're very proud of that. Projects which included a, a large amount of community resource which in, within the project that would make the the finished school building more of a community resource would be looked on more favorably. The community of elders has used this center as their place to come for new friends, for new activities, for learning opportunities, for social opportunities, for travel trips. We want to advocate for health, we want to advocate for services, and above all we want to be a social center for seniors who might otherwise be isolated. B but I think that as we see how comfortable, for instance, the high school kids are with having an older group sitting in their dance studio dancing, most young people in their teen years do not see that type of activity from a senior. I see them tap dancing, I just want to go out there and tap dance with them. Man, I want to do that when I turn 60. Well, I think that that just is happening because we're both here. Uh, my grandmother goes there, so I actually get to see her every day on my way out of school, walk by a lot of, she knows a lot of my friends, it kind of makes her happy too. My grandparents were thrilled, now they could come to school with me. If it weren't for the 600 hours of volunteer time that the senior citizens put in in the library, we would have had to close it two days a week. Oh, they're fantastic. The, the, the students and the teachers, they're just terrific. Uh, very impressed with them from the very beginning, how, how uh, cordial they are, uh, how friendly and, you know, and polite. And a lot of them even on the way out the door will even say thank you for being here, you know, because they know if we weren't here, the place would be locked. It's been great. I mean, we've had projects where we need to talk to people who've been through different historical experiences. Um, I was taking international relations and we needed, you know, testimony from people who've lived through the Cuban Missile Crisis. And, you know, it's simple. You just go out there, you go and you talk to them and you come back and, you know, you do it during lunch, you can do it during study. It opens things up in the academic experience. I think the vision was that we were really going to have a great resource there, you know, because mentoring is always a two-way street, you know, you, you get and you give. and. Um, so now the proximity is terrific. It really leads to this concept where you can see um, sort of a single point of contact for all of our generations. Um, clearly the, the, the range in our impact from when a child goes into an educational facility, this is a high school facility, but what if it had been an elementary facility, to people actively involved in programs in their 80s, if we can get everybody involved in that, we really can have a sort of single community, a place where all folks of all generations can interact. I think what's different is the, uh, the human side of uh, capacity building, like what could be possible. Uh, I think that what's changed in our operation is the senior center is much more part of the school system than we originally thought it would be. I think it's worked out better than anybody could have dreamed of because you see that senior center being used day and night. You see the high school facility being used day and night, not only by the high school students, but it has evolved where community groups throughout, the, uh, throughout Swampscott have joined in and participated and taken advantage of all the facilities that are here. I think in every community there's a variety of different things. And I think the more you can offer and show things that could work, that they, then, then they, they'll do it. I mean, it's. It's like coaching. It's the, the kiss, keep it simple, stupid, 
But in reality, we all, if somebody's doing something well, let's use it. And I know Dick Neal, when he goes to the meetings, uh, he always brings back things that are happening in different states. You know, so I think that this is one thing. Hopefully, that will some other communities will pick up on the same thing. I think it's a great idea. Wonderful things are happening all over America, and that's great news. We all need the relief. What we're all about here is showing you the hope that can be found throughout America. It's happening. You can do it too. Perhaps not building a building that has multiple purposes, but certainly building intergenerational community. I hope you're saying, yeah, but our community is doing great things too. I hope that's the case, and if it is, let us know, because we want all of America doing wonderful things. From Swampscott, Massachusetts, this is the best of American community.